About 30 students from Bendigo Senior Secondary College and Catholic College Bendigo have taken part in the inaugural Senior Schools Health Forum at La Trobe University's Bendigo campus. Professor Jane Farmer, Associate Dean, Research and Strategic Projects, Faculty of Health Sciences, extended a warm welcome to the students and spoke about the extensive health career opportunities available at the Latrobe Rural Health School. We have about 13 different health options on the go, but today we're mainly talking about uh, perhaps some of the ones that are a bit harder to get into, so for the higher ATAR students. So we're talking about dentistry, um, exercise physiology, physiotherapy, a bit of podiatry and paramedicine, and we're also obviously talking about potential for the new medical programme. Students enjoyed a rare opportunity to hear about La Trobe University's aspiration to establish a medical school in collaboration with Charles Sturt University. The school would be the only one of its type taught in rural and regional Australia. Both universities already provide a range of health studies and have a network of existing campuses across the Murray-Darling Basin. What we're trying to do is address the rural doctor shortage. So we've had a rural doctor shortage for more than 40 years in rural communities. We want to take rural students from this region who want to study medicine, train them up right here without them having to leave for the city so that they'll become rural doctors and stay here and work. So really we're trying to create a long-term pipeline of rural doctors for the region. After hearing from Dr Webber, students broke up into smaller groups for roundtable discussions with Latrobe Rural Health School lecturers and a future student advisor about tertiary studies. So it's been really interesting to hear from um, everyone at Latrobe today what options we have of studying health here in Bendigo and especially in the medicine course. It's a good thing to consider, I think, staying in a more familiar environment here for university. Actually having a university like La Trobe and, and having schools understand the huge population that are studying in rural Australia, you don't have to go to, um, to Melbourne to study, that you know, you've know you got 2,300 students studying for a health degree right here in Mendigo. I think that really makes these students think, these high school students think, well, maybe I could do that too. The highlight of the day was an opportunity for the secondary school students to witness practical simulations simulations by current paramedicine students. The simulations undertaken in the campus's brand new health simulation spaces were designed to showcase how La Trobe Rural Health School students learn and hone their skills. Uh, we were observing and they were telling us how it's done and different measures and everything and then they were asking us to take part as well. While the proposed Murray-Darling Medical School could still be some time away, the combination of new facilities, smaller class sizes and high quality lecturers is already attracting students from across Australia and overseas. Events such as this one increase the likelihood that tomorrow's health professionals remain in rural and regional Australia after their tertiary studies.